So when we were designing Nexus, we knew that a fundamental part of the whole system was that from the actual receiver itself, Nexus, we could control and monitor the transmitters wirelessly. The fundamental part of the design was it had to have exceptional range, much longer range than Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. And it needs to be super robust and be able to um, exist and perform robustly even in a crowded RF environment. So we developed our own protocol called Nexlink. Um, and it's, um, it operates in the 2.4 gigahertz region as well. We've got about 80 meg megahertz of bandwidth devoted to this control. And the performance of it, we, is, it gives you a much longer um, control range than actually the audio forward link, the actual digital audio transmission from the transmitter to receiver. This control next link um, range is much longer than that, which is important, right? Because imagine a situation where by your talent is quite far away from the receiver and the, the signal's starting to drop and you think, oh God, I really wish that I could increase the RF power. Well, you can do that remotely, even if the transmitter's out of audio range. I see. Okay, and you can change frequency, you can turn the transmitter on and off. In fact, you can set virtually any transmitter parameter and monitor the status of it.